Hello, and welcome back to another Simmons Insights tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over segmentation. So if you've been messing around or you're on a different screen um, and you're not at segmentation, we're going to go hover over Essentials, go down to Quick Reports, and click that. As you can see, segmentation is the second box here. So that's what we'll be using today. As always, I'm going to go with the football suggestion, um, but maybe pick something different today. Football, played, participated, last 12 months. So what this is, is the search term box. And we can do a couple different things with the search term. We can set it as the base or the target. If you're not super interested in anything specific, um, you'll probably leave this, which is determining which study you're using and um, the same and you'll probably leave this as the target so let's just run it as target and see what comes up so as you can see segmentation breaks down different um, aspects of life um, and the percentages of how the people who um, played uh, football within the last 12 months rate that so so there's food health retail shopping mobile technology, privacy, economic outlook, um, automotives. Um, let's look at let's look at automotives. So this says uh, there, there are a couple different categories that they've named them. So main streets, uh, people who are quite um, like cars, an okay point. Uh, man. So main streets, people who like cars, basically to get from point A to point B. There's people who are city streets, um, who change their cars frequently. Um, so this, uh, as you can see, you hover, hover over and it has the name, uh, so you can go back and read the description. And it has the sample size, um, the percentage of how many people uh, who, who play football, um, within the last 12 months um, consider themselves to be this type of people or, or who do these types of things rather. If you look over at the base name uh, you might have noted that earlier we didn't select a base so the base defaulted to all adults so everyone in the study um, and it shows the study sample size and the percentage is 100 because we're using um, it's a defaulted base. If we go back and we use cats uh, so people who own one cat in the household and we set that as the base and we click run again You'll see that the numbers are a little bit different. So cats being the base. So from the study there were 1464 people that owned a cat and of people who owned cats within the study 106 played football within the last 12 months. So then this information and these percentages are based off of people who played football who also own a cat and who were also participating in this particular study. Um, again, um, if you've already watched um, some of the other, vi other videos, you might be aware, but I'm, I'll point it out. If something has asterisks by it, um, either one or two, it's essentially saying that the number, the sample size for that particular item was so low that the projections might be unstable. So you might not be able to find much information about people in the study who had a cat and played football because there's such a small number of people who, who fit that. Uh, but for more broad terms or things that might not, um, uh, things that might coincide more, then uh, it's less likely that you'll get these low numbers here. That's all that I have for today. I hope this was helpful, and um, hope you have a good day.